Hi, this is Rob and I'm going to show you how to use Glyph Cloaked Email to protect the privacy of your email address from inbound communication. This is helpful for newsletters, websites, and conference registrations which require your email address to use their service. If you haven't seen the previous tutorial and concept overview, please refer to the description of this video for links. The scenario we're going to pretend we're in is that you're signing up for something with a company email address and want to maintain your anonymity while using that email address. We're going to use a cloak to sign up for a newsletter and see how it appears in your inbox. Finally, we'll discard the cloak at the end. Let's begin where we left off in the last tutorial, which is linked in the description of this video. Pretend you're at work and you've discovered a Dave Matthews Band fan email newsletter that you want to sign up for and read using your company email inbox. We're going to navigate to the newsletter registration page and on it where you find that there's a simple email request here. Typically you'd want to inspect the privacy policy of the website before signing up. After that we'd make our best decision as to whether the site owner is protecting their server from hackers. And, but thanks to cloaked email we severely limit our exposure to bad privacy policies and potential data breaches. First let's go back and check the cloak that we're using today. It is puma36 at cloak.gli.ph. We'll go ahead and enter our email here. And enter the same required information on the registration page. Now let's go back and check our pretend work inbox. We see that the email newsletter sent us a welcome email and that both the sender and subject appear as normal. Jumping into the email, we note that Glyph has added a note that mentions the email was sent via our cloak, but otherwise all of the HTML formatting and contents of the email are maintained. So it appears things are working as expected, but let's go back and see how this has changed the cloak that we've created. We'll go ahead and click on the cloak under My Cloaks, and you'll see that the email address of the person that we've received the email from now appears under My Conversations. You'll note that we can immediately invite this user to Glyph if we want. We won't do that here. Instead, let's pretend that the site owner had a data breach and all of the emails of the newsletter subscribers were posted on the internet, including our cloak address. We want to protect the company and ourselves from any potential spam that's likely to follow, so we're going to go ahead and discard the cloak. To discard a cloak, click the Edit button in the top right, and then scroll down and tap simply Discard Cloak. This effectively removes the link between the cloak and your real email account. No new emails to the cloak will ever be forwarded ever again. Now you know how to use Glyph Cloaked Email to protect yourself in one-way communications. In our next tutorial, we're going to show how to use it to protect yourself during a two-way conversation, like on Craigslist. Thanks for watching.